Hi guys, this is Kelly once again from Bond Machines and today I will be reviewing the, the complete set of the PATH 230 sewing machine. Okay, so um, I would like to employ you to like my page and also um, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and also here on YouTube and also click on the notification button to get um, updates and recent videos. Okay, I'll quickly run through the um, cabinet of the or the treadle of the machine. Now it has um, this is the path original path 230. You see the um, logo there, and it has this um, cupboard section where you have okay, um, actually open and freeze. All right, here's the manual in German. Okay, and also um, it has this box set of um, extra needles and all that in here. I think I should open it that. Okay, you see that? There's some um, two cells inside. All right, and uh, also here's the treadle part. Okay, you see that the treadle where you actually use it manually. All right, and there's the machine. Okay, um, it has double tread stand, which you can use for the twin needles. And um, right here you have the control for the stress stitch and the zigzag. The zero being the stress stitch, and four being that for the zigzag. All right. Then also it has this point, which is the um, needle position, which controls the front and back needle position. Okay, right here is what controls the length of the buttonhole when you're sewing the zigzag. This one here is the stitch length regulator, which has um, numbers four to about zero. Okay, so you can turn it like this, this being the indicator. Okay, you just turn this up and down okay right here is your reverse and here is the normal point now this is what controls the switch it has a light bulb okay which is um, basically you can see that it has a light bulb and it has a switch at the back okay the extension switch at the back which you can use on um, using the light bulb now um, this one here controls the feed doors you can bring that down and take it up all right so this is what controls the um, feed dogs right all right so um, I already connected it to the treadle and this is the bobbin winder. All right, so I'll quickly um, wind the bobbin and sew some couple of stitches with the machine. All right. So in winding the bobbin, okay, you just make sure that this point of the bobbin gets in contact with this protrusion on the um, bobbin winder. You just put that in, okay, see that? Then you can use any of the tread stand. All right, so I'll be using this one. Then you make sure it passes through this point here. There's a small um, loop here where it passes through, more like a spring structure. It stretches the thread. So you just twist that on the um, bobbin, just wind out a bit, and you push it to the side. So when you sew now, I'm actually using the treadle. All right, so I think I'm. Um, I think this should be enough. All right. Let me just take some other ones again. I'm supposed to hold that. Just. All right. All right, guys. Gotten the one I want. So you just remove that, and there you have it. One bobbin. It uses the. Um, path shuttle and bobbin mechanism there you have it as a path shuttle and the bobbin all right so um, in treading the machine is quite easy from the tread stand you just pass it from the tread stand you just pass it through um, this point here there's double holes in case you want to use your twin needle for it so you just pass it through here and you make sure you raise the footer up so you can pass freely through the tension plate and when you've done that see that so make sure it passes through the tension plate um, effectively then you also pass it through this point here which is the thread carrier all right then this point here this point here this point here you thread from front to back okay i'll quickly go through the process again from the thread stand down to this point here it goes inside the tension plate, comes all the way up to this thread carrier and goes down to one, two, three point before you thread the needle, okay? I'll just thread the needle and sew the machine now. 
All right, so I already threaded the needle and for the regular straight stitch, this one has to be on zero and I'm using the highest stitch length, which is four. Okay, so when I sew through now, see that? All right, so actually that's the back and this is the front of the stitch. So I'll just sew through once again so you can see that. have it all right so if you want to sew um, a little more closer stitch you just turn this um, knob just turn it um, down so I'm using the number number two so you see that then for sewing the um, zigzag you just turn this knob I'll be using number four which is the highest zigzag for this video. So when you sew through now and go. There you have it, that's zigzag. You can make the stitches more closer by reducing the stitch length. So you just reduce it to about one. All right, so when you sew through, for a more tighter stitch okay so there you have it guys you see, see that a much much um, tighter stitch all right the fabric I'm is actually stretchy so that's why it's like this but you can see that okay the zigzag the closer one and the straight stitch so now um, you can actually use the machine for your buttonhole. I already have a video on how to use the needle positioning to do the buttonhole. When I talk about needle position, that's the left and the right needle position. Okay, see, I'm sewing all the way through the right. Okay, so you see that the needle is actually based on the, it's focused on the right position. Then you can turn this to the left and use that for your left position. So mostly you use this, um, in the position for your um, if you want to sew zipper or you want to do the buttonhole all right so thank you so much guys for watching this video like i said there's the complete set of the path 230 series sewing machine it's actually for sale and um, you can also contact me for purchase thank you so much guys and god bless you